Well, the U.S. was, was part of the group back in 2008 that put together the special agreement, which was the first time that there was a laid out process by which both governments could eventually come to a resolution of, of this very, very tricky issue. Uh, we were then involved, and this was in my time here, starting in, in mid-2018, in the process of educating the public about what the referendum meant, about what the process was. Now, we never took a side on whether the Belizean people should vote yes or no. Um, but we wanted to say, here is what happens in this instance. Here's what's at stake. And so as part of that education process, when the referendum happened, to see that there was such a high turnout. I mean, 65% of Belizean people came out to vote, and it was just for a referendum. I mean, that in and of itself speaks to the democracy that exists here. Um, the fact that it was 55% for going to the, the ICJ and 45% no um, was then a clear indication. You know, there was no doubt. There was no, oh, well, so, you know, 50.1 uh, to 49.7 you know, or anything like that. It was a clear indication that the people of Belize had voted to go to the ICJ. And what you saw then was the country coming together. Okay, we've made the decision to go. Some people voted no based on the timing or process, but ultimately, the majority of people have said, let's go to the ICJ because that will give Belize a resolution.